Oh, it does. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> What's up guys, Kronos here, welcome to Scrap Mechanics. So this is literally the first time I'm booting up the uh, game. I uh, just tried a test world for about a minute. So yeah, the video is going to be disorganized, messy, but a true first impression. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, character. I don't like the character, the graphics, the style. I really like the, the the style of the artwork, but oh man, the characters. I'm really disliking it. But whatever, let's just go. New game, creative terrain, uh, create uh, first impression. Create. Yeah, so I, I uh, I've watched a 20 minute video on how to play the game. Kind of fast forward the whole thing, but. I think I, I got the uh, basics down, you know, so hammer <laughs> What do you do with a hammer? Can I uh, I guess in the uh, non-creative mode you're supposed to get your supplies and stuff like this so I guess hammer would come in handy in that situation. I don't know So uh, let's check out the world. Ah, whoa Yeah, I really like the style of the uh, graphics really cool but the first thing that I want to do is, uh, well, you know, I think most of you guys would want to do is to build a car. And I think this is what we need. Hold on. No, no, no. Where is it? There you go. There's the thing. Okay, so I want to be somewhere that's kind of flatter than here. Is there a space where I could build this kind of... Yeah, here, here. Looks good. Okay, so we place this one. This is the lift. And I think the best thing to use is wood yeah and I heard that in order to put place the uh, the current build in the middle is to do this and then place it back I think so and move it wherever you want I guess huh nice okay next thing you do is to put a chair on your build how do you rotate this Okay, so it looks like it's Q. Ah, there you go. There you go. Q, and we place it right there. Nice. Not nice. <laughs> Not nice. Right there. There you go. Okay, but uh, we'll have to increase the size because we need to put the uh, engine in the back. I think that'll be enough. And then the, uh, I think this is the motor. Place it like that. Boom. There you go. And let's see. How do I, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrow. Up. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um, I need a suspension. So I'm guessing, let's see, let's place, let's place a couple of blocks. One here. The One bearing should be placed here so that you could actually uh, steer the car because you know you would want to, right? And the suspension. So, to get to the suspension, okay, so you got two types uh, sport suspension. No, I want the off road suspension. So, we're gonna place this right there, replace the, uh, the thing. And what else is there? Piston, bathtub, bathtub. Can we use it as a <laughs> small boat? So, suspension should be underneath, I'm guessing, right below the, uh, ah, I can't place it. Okay, so this one works. This one works. What about you? I can't put it right underneath the uh, bearing. I thought you are supposed to. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's going to work. I think it, you have to place another block first. Okay, so uh, after that, I should be able to place the uh, suspension. Uh, no, no, no. There you go. And there. Now we have to, of course, uh, manage this. Obviously. Hmm. All right, take it out. Remove it. Remove it. The car's gonna be really tall. Isn't that going to make it really uh, unstable, though? Okay, so I don't want the car to be too tall. So I think I have a solution for that. Let's uh, remove this. 
So lower the core, and I'm thinking I should do this instead. So let's uh, increase the width of the core first. I think that would help with the uh, handling, you know, because if not, the car would t tip over too easily, I think. So that's that, and that what I would do is this. Connect panel there, another one here. Okay, bearing, bearing, okay, that's good. And of course, couple of blocks here. That way, we are a block lower than before. Yep, hopefully the car doesn't uh, fall apart though. Okay, now the suspension. Here. And there. Okay, so uh, how do you place the, uh, the, the, the wheel? Hmm. Maybe uh, you're supposed to place it... Okay, hold on. Raise it a little more. So maybe you're supposed to put it right there, yeah. Man, the car's still, <laughs> still really tall. I don't know if that's going to be stable, dude. Okay, place the bearing. Another bearing. Damn, the car is tall. I don't know, man. I don't know. This could be very unstable. But we'll see, I guess. I will see. Okay, so lower the core. Lower the core. And let's use the uh, the connection tool. What do you call this thing? So you call this what? Connect tool. Okay, connect tool. So, I think you're supposed to connect the engine, so basically a power, to the wheel. Same deal here. And you want the uh, four-wheel drive, since this is an off-road car. And the same business. And now you have to make sure that the rotation is correct. Let's see, uh, no, it should be that way, forward, forward, and this is forward and forward, that's good. And now you connect the, I think that's the steering. The steering to... Ah, voila, 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 voila. And this to that. And is the uh, direction correct? It has to, it has to rotate to the same direction. I think, I hope that's correct. And am I supposed to uh, connect this to the power? I hope so. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, let's uh, remove up and down to use. Okay, I think it's uh, right mouse. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god, that is tall. That is tall. I mean, let me get rid of the uh, the book. My empty hand now. And how do I E? Whoa. Okay, the steering is opposite. <laughs> how do I get out? Oh yeah, get out. Get out, let's uh, change the steering to, let's see, change the direction, like that, and like that, let's get up there, and now it's correct, can I go forward, yes I can, but it's really slow, hold on, I think there is a power setting, so you go to the uh, engine, and yeah, yeah, you could increase the uh, power, Let's say about the midpoint. Get up there, boy! <laughs> oh my god, that's unstable! No, 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 no! <laughs> that's too fast, that's too fast. Yeah, I would need a, a, a lot more stable vehicle, because this is too tall, too short, in order to have this kind of power. So, let's decrease the power just a little bit. I think that should be fine. Get up there again. There you go, that's better. Whoa. <laughs> Look at him jerking around. <laughs> ah, oh, whoa. <laughs> but it flips automatically. That's that's a feature. Okay, so uh, this looks like what? A quarry? No, no, no. Some kind of oil pit. So is the world generated like you know, Minecraft? Random generation, or is this uh, an existing map? I'm not really sure how this thing works. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Okay, let, let's see if we could go uh, do a little off-roading. You know, how about here? How about here? Yeah, this jagged racks. Oh, actually, this is. Oh yeah, yeah, you fall right under. So let's see. Can we go down here and then climb up? Can you do this? 
Can you do this? Are you good enough? Oh yeah. Okay, let's make the test a little tougher. So we shall go up here. Come on now. Come on now. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised that the car doesn't fall apart though. So to get the uh, to flip the car back up, I think you're supposed to do this. No, 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 not, not that. And then place it. No, no, no. Place it somewhere like that. And of course, you would remove the jack and you're back in business. Oh yeah. Come on now. It squeaks like crazy. So I was thinking this could be something like Besiege and basically uh, if you build with anything with wood it would really break up you know, easily but apparently not. Let's see, let's climb up here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no, the des it's designed really poorly. I admit, I admit. Okay, so that's a car. I mean, uh, we could definitely make it better, but that's a car. So now let's drive around and look for a spot where we could build a house. Oh my God, Donald, you have built the wall. <laughs> so I guess it's not randomly generated. This is actually a map that's been pre-designed. The game runs really well, by the way. I'm getting about 150 FPS at uh, uh, 1440p resolution. So yeah, the game runs really, really well. Okay, out of the core. Core is there. That's fine. So we're gonna build a house using wood material to begin with, I think. And this is a really nice spot to build a home. Flat, large, empty space. Let's go to item and uh, let's get rid of the uh, all these things that we don't need, first of all. Okay, so let's build a crude house. It's just a test, you know? So I'm gonna use the uh, concrete block as the uh, foundation. So let's uh, let's make a big one. Okay, we've got our first wall here. Can we fly like Minecraft? Perhaps not. So that's kind of a house. <laughs> I think you could make a door like this. Let me test out the door. So I think you're supposed to put bearing on one side. I don't know if you put it at the bottom as well. Huh. Just to be sure, let's do that. And you build a door. I'll build it with a metal. Right there, and we need the uh, the switch. I guess about yay high is cool. And we need the connector tool to connect. I think, I hope I'm right. So, the controller goes to there. And the connector should connect to the bearing here. It doesn't. Huh. Is it like that? Perhaps? And what if I press E? Nothing works. Ah! How do you do this? How do you do this? Oh, okay, so you could control the uh, controller from here. And what is this? Rotation editor. Increase the the degree in which it moves, I suppose. And they would do Hold on, let's see. Let me switch that to wooden block. I'm just going to put it like that, medium. Oh, so the metal block doesn't really work. Doesn't work as a uh, door, the metal block. It doesn't. Alright, so I want to place the uh, the switch elsewhere. So, remove that. Connect it. Oh, there you go. There's the door. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, you could build a lot of complex things with this thing. You really could. This is pretty awesome. You could build a drawbridge, you know, that's one example. And you could build like fold-up homes. Like a house could actually exist in like a small box. And then perhaps if you are smart enough, you can make it so that it folds out into a, you know, into a full house. Okay, now that we've uh, built a door, a crappy door, but a door that functions nonetheless. Why don't we try building a ramp and jumping over it with a jet car jet power car so uh, I'm gonna place the let's see let's place the ramp right there can we another one right next to it another one let's make it wide so that we don't have to really uh I think this is big enough right 
Yeah, don't make it too big and make it disastrous. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, now let's go back to the car and we are going to place a couple of jetpacks. But before we do that, of course, you have to uh, position the car. Get in there, buddy. Alright, so uh, position to the ramp. Yeah, this is going to be way too slow. So I want the jetpack, because uh, not that I have the wings or know how to make a plane, but I figure uh, if I have a jetpack, I might have a longer flight time. You know, could happen. We'll see. Okay, right about here looks good. Get off. Uh, I guess that's fine. Is it fine? Two. Three. Should I go three or two? Three. Let's go three. I <laughs> uh, got the connection tool, and I suppose I only connected to the chair. I hope so. There you go. And the power, how is the spot in the middle? If it's too strong, then I might not be able to steer. So I got three of them, so that might be enough. Alright, let's get in the car. But before we do that, lift it up and get rid of the elevator. Ah, uh, ah, uh, would it work? <gasps> oh, it does. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> Nothing broke? <laughs> so this is the complete opposite of the uh, the brick... Uh, what's that called? Brick Lego, whatever, that game that looks like Lego. That thing, I mean, yeah, you could break it so easily, but this thing is basically, once you build it, indestructible. Which is kind of fun on its own, too. Uh, jump, jump, jump. <laughs> ah, shoot. You know what? Looking at my car right now, the suspension is the biggest problem because you get to sit way too high. I mean, you could place the uh, the blocks, say, mm, yeah, stretch the block a little bit higher and then make the suspension a little lower that way. But you could, if you spend the time, let's get off. If you spend the time and you look at the parts here. Uh, so you've got, no, you, you can't use I-beams, but, let's see, like, uh, if it does have, like, pipes, right? Pipes and pipe joints, things like this. You could actually make, uh, one of those push rod suspension, and make it actually look like a, well, almost like one of those, uh, dune buggy, you know? Hmm. All right, so what if, what would happen if I place four rockets, throw a thing down, you know, the thrust going down, and then try to hover with that. Let me try, let me try. <laughs> Let's take the uh, okay, let jetpacks off. And for added st stability, we are going to place the jetpack a little bit further apart. So, about here. Since the blocks are, you know, indestructible, it really doesn't matter. You know what, get, get, get it off. There you go. <laughs> Would it work? I don't know. Oh, oh, get rid of the uh, woohoo! Get on top of that boy. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, higher, higher. Whoa, I can't control it, but hey, I'm flying. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It doesn't break, though. It doesn't break. Uh, roll it around, roll it around. Don't smoosh your head. Okay, we don't have to get off. Wow, the possibility of this. Huh. How would you make a uh, stable? So if you want to make a stable, you have to be able to control at least uh, the back and the rear separately. Well, preferably all four of them separately. Or have more thruster pack. So, because right now, I think the weight is kind of shifted to the front. Two and minutes I don't know of reading that, that I did just uh, now. I think uh, logic gate would come into play if you want to make uh, something a little more sophisticated than this. But, you know, I don't really know much about the game yet. So, uh, that's something that we'll delve into later. But for now, I think to make this a little more stable, uh, the first thing to do is to widen the base. So it looks kind of proportional, but for some reason it kind of tilts forward, meaning that it's a front heavy. Don't know why. 
And let's see, so we put thrusters there, and I think we shall place another thruster at the front. Get it off it, get it off it. No, 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 don't roll off on me. Get inside, get inside. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. You see, it's, it's front heavy, why? It's very much propor proportional. And yet, it is. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out the thruster from the, from the rear. Let's see what happens now. Perhaps the thrust... Whoa! It's gonna flip! <laughs> thruster, thruster. Place it there, and what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna take this off and uh, get rid of a couple of blocks and place it right there. It off. Get inside. Oh yeah, that's a lot more balanced. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's far more stable. I just don't have a way to control it. So if I add a thruster in the back and be gentle with it, it would go forward. You know? It would go forward. Hmm. And finally, we are going to place a thruster... <laughs> Right there, uh, connect the whole thing. Okay, lower her down. Stop, my friend. <sighs> okay, be gentle, be gentle. Oh, 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 I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me, uh, okay, a little more power. Oh, it's back heavy, back heavy. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I, I know what the problem is. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> a little too much, a little too much. Okay, what if I add... <laughs> this is becoming a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> what if I add one more thruster here? Okay, oh, we yes. shall... Let's try and... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. That's a little too much thrust. The elevator, whatever. And... Whoa! That's far more stable. But it's not going forward. It's not going forward. Oh no! Oh, it's actually going reversed. <laughs> oh man, it's gotta work. Alright, so this is the design that worked the best. And yeah, it works to a degree. If you just kind of, you know, power it just a little bit, it goes forward and high enough. But you can't steer. <laughs> Okay, this is the jankiest creation you've ever seen, but... <laughs> no, <laughs> we have to build it from... <laughs> oh, I, I want to see what happens if I steer right now. Oh, I kind of I kinda have control. Kind of do, kind of. Put it down and get inside. Let's see. If I steer it, you see? It moves. In opposite direction from the middle, so that it's a little more stable. So power it, steer it. Oh. Would it work? <laughs> I'm going. I'm going backwards, though. Going backwards. So if there's a way to power all these things separately, then we would have a stable hovercraft. But until then. <laughs> well, it's so obviously this is just, you know, for fun. I'm not really doing it to impress anybody. No one's really going to be impressed by this. But, you know, it's kind of showing you the possibility in this game, you know. There's a lot of things that you could do. Uh, okay, so here's a crappy demonstration of what you can do with a controller. So, everything's connected. The sequence is all checked out. Now, see what happens. <laughs> I know, it's janky as hell, but hey, I did something with that. You know? Kind of a cool way of opening a door. Or a window, or whatever, you know. I'm, I'm just trying to demonstrate some of the cool things that you could do with the controller, really. I mean, I really like this game. And these are just musical boxes. Uh, they play like this.
different instruments uh -huh. and if you go up to the uh, the box itself uh, you can actually change the note um, I haven't tried the uh, this uh, sync uh, it's nothing it does nothing really it looks like a you know one, one of those uh, decorational pieces and the uh, toilet I don't think it does anything it just I mean flushes right <laughs> it's uh, another piece that's just uh, for decorations you know and I want to check out this thing to see what it is it's a shark and no option you can't uh, change anything okay let's connect the button to it so let's add uh, this one and I guess connect it yeah connect it and let's try so what does it do <laughs> okay okay <laughs> Ah, uh, Joss, that music, that classic music. So I suppose you could use a timer. No, no, you don't need a timer. You would, uh, if you could use multiple controllers, you could make this, you know, make it do this continually. You know, and uh, make a song with that. And also, yeah, I suppose music boxes plus the controller. You could, uh, yeah, you could actually make music. Although it's going to be huge and it'll be extremely complex, but you know, smart people will manage it to you know manage to do it. And you know what? Uh, this is one of the jankiest creations that you'll ever see. And in fact, you know, surprisingly enough, this is an improved version. You'd be surprised, <laughs> but uh, it's my first walking machine. So. I know that you, you have to connect many more joints, many more controllers in order to make this uh, actually work like a real bug, you know, mimic nature. But I just wanted to prove a point that you could probably make some type of a bug, you know, that actually works like a bug. But anyways, um, the engine's right there and, uh, you know, connected to two controllers. The middle legs are connected to that controller and the other, the rest of the legs are connected to that. And uh, it's better to see how it works. So, what you do is uh, basically check out the legs. Uh, 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 no, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Gotta get the uh, lift off. Okay, so, go forward. And what it does is basically the, the front and the rear legs, they move first. And then the middle leg moves afterwards. I uh, set up the controller so they would do it that way. So it pushes it down and then it pushes it forward. <laughs> okay, to prove to you that we are moving, okay? Because it seems like we're not, right? But check it out. So I'm going to place a block here. Let's place, actually, you know what? Let's place a few blocks so that it's really clear and kind of tall too. Now, get up there. Now, check it out. And I'll show you that we're moving. <laughs> Granted, we're moving really slow. But again, it's just to prove a point that, yeah, you could probably, you know, make something a lot more complex. And again, this is just a real janky explanation, but yeah, so this is uh, just a sample of things that I think you could do. And uh, the next one, the next build that I want to do uh, is actually spend enough time so that I can make something more complex. And I want to make a push route suspension supercore or doom buggy like I spoke earlier, I think. So that's going to come in next. So yeah, these are my creations, my hovercraft and... <laughs> <laughs> my little bug here <laughs> but yeah uh, this episode uh, obviously is just to demonstrate what's possible in this game you know even for someone as new as me and uh, I really like it hopefully they come up with a survival you know mode because right now you can only play the creative and I think it'd be really fun if you could make this into a survival type or even multiplayer I don't know if they have multiplayer yet on this one. Haven't checked that one out yet. But yeah, on the next one, I'm gonna try to make a push rod suspension. I'm gonna spend enough time and I'll make a push rod suspension, a push rod suspension supercar or a doom buggy perhaps. And uh, show it to you guys how I did it. Then 
yeah maybe a few more builds but the next one definitely I'll, I'll be spending a lot more time to try to go into the whole controller the timer and the uh, con the logic game and all that and we'll see what we could do but anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one cross out